Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Vance here, and welcome to a ship tour. Now today, we're going to be taking a good look around the Karak. We're going to have a look inside, talk about some of the good features, and also we'll take it for a very, very short flight, and also show you some of the exterior and some of the exterior animations. So let's get started, let's get a little bit closer to it. Now I've been waiting for this pretty much since the start of Star Citizen, really. I originally got the... Uh, Constellation, and once I saw the Karak, this was definitely for me, and it's, uh, she's definitely not small. It was originally did have, uh, capital, uh, ship items, now it's just large. Still pretty chunky, though. Gonna be a bit of a handful for a single pilot. Sizable front leg there, that folds up inside, everything sort of tucks away got some funky ones over here as well these ones the actual wings fold up and fold backwards you can see some gun turrets on the top there as well while we're here we have a bit of a ganders compare that to me pretty uh sizable i would say massive legs got one of the uh, gun turrets here as well this is a manned one underneath Gun turrets are pretty cool, actually. We'll have a look at that in a bit. It doesn't look like it's flying slightly. Let's jump inside and start looking around. we do a bit more of an exterior when we get in the pilot seat shortly. Now, you actually enter the ship to the front of the ship, which is a little bit, I wouldn't say odd. Saves you when you're going to the, the pilot seat, so you're not running all the way to the back of the ship. <coughs> so you can actually access the upstairs pilot area, which we're starting, shall we? We'll have a look in the uh, hangar first. Huge door that comes open. I would say the only downside with this door is the amount of time it takes to open. I'm hoping that they add something in later on to stop people, you know, following you in the ship with you. Because this animation process is uh, quite slow. Makes sense. It's a freaking massive door at the end of the day. That's quite a lot of time. If that end piece folds in, then uh, sort of stops the player getting in. You can actually walk away up here. Here we go. Get two rovers in here. Easy. No problem. And you can still have a gangway around the edge here as well. Probably get some space bikes here as well, if you fancy that. A couple of little things you've got. You've got this thing here. Let me press it. There we go. Pretty cool. Reminds me of one of those things you have on an aircraft carrier. Sort of stops you smashing into the door, I guess. Got a couple of way through here. We got this way. Should probably have a look on this deck first as we're here. Right, first door, what we got? We got an elevator here. With the new elevator controls. And on this side, we have a docking, which you can actually open at the moment. Can enter through here as well. It's only on one side. Sure, there's supposed to be some sounds to that. I hear them at the moment. What I did find, if you lock someone in it, it's hard to get. Well, actually, I don't think you can get out. It does make you crouch. Quite a few of them there. Is it five? Is it three on that side? Two on that side. Opens that door. Let's go and take a look over this way. Back in the corridor. Into the cargo section now. There's three of these. It reminds me of the caterpillar a little bit. You can go down here. Go and take a look. 
later on you will be able to drop these pods off and these doors will open as well. If they open and the lip touches the floor, there's nothing stopping you parking a couple of vehicles in here, is there? You'll probably get a rover in there. Definitely get some space bikes, wouldn't you? Back up on the lift. Do like these new uh, buttons. Pretty cool. Then you've got another one here. Same thing again. Another one over here. Exactly the same again. And then finally... Into this section. A few uh, angles you can go here. It's parallel. You've got the same stuff on either side. Guessing these are for suits. And also you've got your weapon lockers as well. So you'd be coming in here, getting suited up, grab a gun. Carries a crazy amount of weapons. It's not just that one. There's one over here as well, look. Freaking like something out of like a Batman, isn't it? Pretty cool. Elevator there as well, and you've got left and right on here, exactly the same on both sides. This one goes around the same way. It's down here. Now one thing I like about these turrets, which is quite cool, well there's good news and bad news with the turrets really. There's not many forward, well there is, there's not really many forward facing guns. Most of the guns are either at the centre or to the rear, but the cool thing about the weapons are is when you're actually sitting inside this one what key gonna work for me? negative if you actually land somewhere and you go out on a sort of a bit of a exploration run and you leave some people behind to defend the ship look at the arc of this You can normally see forward as well. That's just because we are hovering slightly here as well. But this is a great defense as well. You could jump in this and defend the ship from anyone coming in, taking out vehicles. Pretty decent. Jump out of this one. Also, it'd be effective when you're flying through space as well, clearly. This one's got lots of cameras as well. You probably... Uh, it's not a camera, is it? That's a um, red alert thing, isn't it? I think the lighting will change depending on what mode you're in. I don't know what mode it's in at the moment. They've told us there'd be like a red alert. You know, you get the idea. I don't know if this is running or it's... Who knows? Some people have mentioned they didn't like the lighting, but to be fair, I think it's all right. Not that bad. No major complaints, really. Let's jump in the elevator. So, should we go to cartography first, shall we? Very uh, compact ship. I also like the fact that a lot of the areas actually do things. Viewing window in the lift there. Ah, right, this is uh, cartography. Now, this would be where you're mapping your plot, where you're going can actually access this thing at the moment. Doesn't do much. So you might have someone up here. Just does that sort of stuff at the moment. Originally I thought all these windows were going to open and you're going to be in some sort of dome or something. That'd be pretty freaking cool, wouldn't it? We did see the original artwork for this and it looked absolutely nuts, but this is uh, clearly a placeholder. Pretty cool. Back this way. Got left and right here. Head into this corridor. Suits there. Escape pod. Can't quite 
I think they eject upwards. I can't really uh, lie down that way. I think they go up. As you can see down there, that is definitely a solid floor there. Back around this way. And then... That's the way we came. And then you got this as well, which... It sort of makes sense, I guess. Because what you've got here, if you think about it... You've probably come in here. Suit up. I could have put a weapon rack here. I suppose you're not really expecting anyone to be on that deck, are you? And then you can come out to one of these doors here. Can't actually control... No, you can't actually control that yet. Here we go, let's try this. Okay, here we are. Could call this the landing pad. These double doors open, and this is where the ship lands. We have a walk down here while we're here, couldn't we? Whoa, gravity's low. And what you can see here, this is the armoured, part of the armoured canopy, isn't it? You can see these runners here, look. So I'm guessing that this extends forward. No, maybe not actually, because it's way further down here, isn't it? Whoa, whoa don't want to fall off. And where does the ar armoured canopy come out of? Hard to tell, isn't it? Gotta be careful here. Oh, there is a gap around the edge there, look. I'm going to get too close, don't want to fall off the end. Let's head back up here. Vents going in there. There's storm brewing out here. It does look like that's on runners. Let's get back inside. Okay, pretty much everything on this floor. There's not a huge amount up here. Head back around to the lift. Oh, I sprung a leak there. Hopefully that'll be a part of the mini game or something, repairing the ship. So, where should we go next? Should we go to the technical deck? Let's go there. Next on the list, eh? I did spend quite a bit of time using this on uh, on the live stream the other day. So when you come out that door, you've got this door here. Just to recap, let's start at the back. Your engine room. Pretty freaking cool, right? You've got a nice window there. I imagine this is going to have lots of flashing lights and all sorts of stuff going on and fires. Fingers crossed. Hopefully not. Go back here. Dark down here. We do have a ladder to climb down as well, but you've got this big boy here. Pretty cool. I can confirm if you go in there, you fall through the ship. Quantum Drive. A lot of the components probably haven't been designed yet. They are there, but they're just not there, if that makes any sense. I like that door. Pretty cool. And we can go down this ladder. Same as obviously going down the steps. What we probably want to do first before we go... Actually, we can go downstairs. Let's have a look. We'll go down the ladder. Here we are on the next floor down. We've got another cupboard here. Power plant. That is definitely there, isn't it? That's a monster, isn't it? Lots of pipes and stuff under here. Shield generator. I think that one's going to open. I did try that before. Oh, there we go. Got to go nearer the button. Oh, wow. Didn't get that to work last time. Assuming then we got another one on this side. Let's 
Looks a bit wonky in there. I think it needs to be moved up a little bit. It's probably a little bit of a bug like, on that side. That one looks alright. That one looks a little bit low. Might submit a report on that one, eh? Let's close them up. So if you're playing with your friends on this, there's going to be loads to do because you're going to have a multitude of different things you can do on the ship. You've got the cartography aspect of it, the repair, the engine base or stuff. You can see that there could be loads of uh, cool gameplay here. And also, if you're using subcomponents, you know, you can actually repair the subcomponents on the ship. Life support? Oh, God. That seems to be uh, missing. It's a bit concerning, isn't it? Oh, that one's even more empty. That one's got some wires in it. Let's close them up. Look where the lights are. There's not any lights around here, is there? Where's the light coming from? It's coming from up the top. So there's no real lights around here, is there? That's the way back up. Little room here. What's that one there? Coolers. There's probably a door on that one. There's no door on that one. Fuel tank. Looks like I might be able to get in there at some point. Does say engineering access only. What we got here? Nothing on this side. That's pretty cool if it actually will tell you the amount of fuel you've got in there. And on the other side. Another tank. That could be the same tank. I wouldn't have thought so. Maybe it's, they're just oblong tanks like shipping containers. Plenty of fuel on this thing anyway. Sort of expected really. You're going to be going, uh, doing some long range on here. Absolutely. Let's just hope you don't get a breach in the fuel tank or something. Crazy detail in here. I must say, you just stand here and look at this and it looks freaking awesome, doesn't it? Probably would have toned the lights up a little bit, but then again, maybe there is another state that it can go into. We just, we haven't got the states yet. A viewing deck. I almost says caution there. It's a bit concerning, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Oh, radio. That's, that doesn't sound... I think you need to go in there with a freaking bio suit then. Little station here. Maybe you can do something on this later on. Power. Engine. Fuel. Systems. It does actually say engine control unit. That gives it away a bit, doesn't it? Nothing else really going on in here. T-junction area. Can't open them. You can head down here to one of the turrets. This looks pretty cool as well. These turrets, are, I like these. They remind me of the... Um, sort of more like the Star... Or, or B2 Bomber, I suppose. When you go out on that glass ball thing. Great view. Oh, it extends as well. Your alert, so it's extended out on the side there. So it gives you a good arc. You don't really, you don't get blocked by the ship, if you see what I mean, because you're extended out. And once again, if you do an exploration and you landed on a planet, this gives you really sort of horizon shots, really, doesn't it? Fire rate's pretty decent as well. Very uh, good at sort of defending the perimeter of the ship. And, you, you know, you can shoot up as well. How far can I go down? Wow, it goes real far down. Really, really good, I think. You can change the fire rates and everything inside the uh, settings if you want to do that as well. Also, you can turn on gyro mode, which helps. So basically what happens there is that 
dome thing is connected to the ship now. So there's no reason for the airlock to uh, be closed. And then when you sit in the seat, what happens is, is this door closes, the airlock closes, and then this ball moves away from the ship, yeah, leaving the ship sealed. Could argue that this door maybe should just close anyway, just for safety reasons, just in case this thing takes a whack or something. So back this way. We'll go around the other side as well and have a look. It's exactly the same, but just to tick it off. Around this side, exactly the same by the look of it. Back down there to your other turret, so it's left and right. And in this section here, then you have a lift here. There's quite a lot of lifts and ladders and on the ship. We'll have a look at that one in a bit. This is your landing pad. Ideally, you probably want to have the Pisces. A lot of people have been saying, oh, you know, put an arrow in it, put this in it. I've tried on stream. I've managed to squeeze a few ships in. Can be done. M50 looks pretty freaking cool in there. But in reality, the Pisces is designed for the Karak, i.e. you can connect the scanner array to the Pisces, or the Pisces can connect to the Karak scanner array. So what that means is you can basically use the scanners from the Karak when you're flying in the Pisces. That just seems like a such a big thing to lose by taking another ship. Let me know what your thoughts are. That's on the other side. And you've got a gantry round here. The other thing I like about this um, landing pad is the landing pad sealed off from the rest of the ship. And that's not necessarily from like an oxygen point of view because there could be a barrier protecting us, if you know what I mean. I like the fact that the doors are there. So if any if intruders get into that hangar bay, they're going to need door access control to get into these doors. So you, it's isolated from the rest of the ship. Pretty freaking cool. There we go, doors open. You can open these doors from the cockpit as well. Pretty awesome. Seems a bit overkill, this panel, doesn't it? Just this one button. Maybe this is going to have some other options later on. There we go, all sealed up. Right, and if we just pop around here, this is the same corridor we've came down. Now we're in this section. That's the way we came. You have ladders going up and down as well. Guessing you might need to use them if the power goes down and the lifts don't work. Another lift here. Two directions we can go here. We're getting close to the sort of the cockpit area. We'll take a look at the old drone room first of all. Here's your drone room. All your drones. Now what you notice here, you've got four pads in the centre. And you've got two pads pending over here. And if you come around here, you can get an idea of how it's possibly going to work. Look. So basically, look, you can see we've got these hydraulic rams here. So it looks like the drones are going to be going in here. Yeah, Going to be going out into space this way. So, you know, block off space, door opens, drone goes in, door shuts. And these on rotating arms. I don't know why there's extra ones there. Because it doesn't sort of go round in a loop. Unless there's a runner there. I should put my light on. There's no runner on the back there. Oh, it looks so, so cool, doesn't it? I can't wait to try all this sort of stuff out. Then you have your drone seats. You've got one over here. And you've got one here as well. These seats look awesome, don't they? You can't do anything in the seats at the moment. And if you do get in, you're never getting out, basically. Absolutely awesome, isn't it? That seat looks... God, imagine having that for a gaming chair. That'd be freaking awesome, wouldn't it? Ain't going to be cheap. Got these weird slats on the windows. You can see there's two bays, one, two there. 
so they can work independently. And then out of this way. So if you've got three or four of your mates on this ship, there's so much to do. Now in this room, this is the uh, repair bay for repairing your modules and your sub-modules. Could be repairing other items as well, like hand tools, I'm guessing, and other stuff. Shot blaster? No, I'm joking. Uh, I'm guessing this is some sort of repair thing. It does say repair on it. Maybe it's something like out of uh, Star Trek, you know. The replicator. Screwdriver kit. That is a freaking massive torque bit there. I did wonder um, originally about like the component repair. And I thought that this would only be subcomponents. The reason I say that is you've seen the size of the components, haven't you? I mean, I don't even think the component will fit on the desk. In fact, it won't even fit in that box. So maybe this is like subcomponent repair or something. How far, how detailed they're going to go into it. Because you're not getting a component in there, no way. You get a subcomponent in there, definitely. Subcomponents are go inside of a main component. And then over this way, keep going this way. Self-explanatory, got some nice uh, escape pods here. Hopefully you'll never be doing this, eh? Most people will probably go down with the ship, I suppose. Might do, I suppose, wouldn't you? I say might do. Wow, look at the light there, looks awesome. You can't interact with these as yet. Once again, it's just a little jump. Look like they go up again, don't they? And here's the bridge. Now you've got two floors on the uh, bridge. You've got the upper and lower deck, you can see here. Upper and lower deck. Now from the upper deck, you've got pretty much, I don't want to say your radar, but you know, your, you can see targets. I'm guessing you're going to, to see all that information. You can't see it at the moment. Might get some extra scanner information and data in there as well. You've got two seats up here. What's that say there? Pull, catch the release. Two seats here. This one just does the, like the normal stuff, you know, like the shields and all that sort of stuff. I'm guessing later on down the line, both of these could be for the remote turret. This is the one for the remote turret at the moment. And it's a bit of a hit. There's a bug at the moment where the arm goes through, but it's hit and miss. Sometimes it, you don't get it, sometimes you do. So we jump in the remote tolerant and take a look. And here we are out here. Pretty freaking awesome. Did I actually uh, just check that? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's just jump in again. Let me get in. There we go. And here we are. Try that again, shall we? Did try and do, uh, do the hotkey for power on. Try. Oh, here we are anyway. You can see the arc's pretty decent. It's okay. Does avoid the ship. This is mainly for aerial protection, really. You can't really shoot too much to the rear because there's lip, so you do get a bit of an arc. Once again, if you landed on a planet, obviously this would be the ideal one for, you know, ships flying in, attacking you while you landed, trying to make an escape, boom them out the sky. Like I said, that one over there is just pretty much the normal shield control. Nothing we can interact with there, and this is an odd one. I'm not going to get in the station because it's a... There are some challenges with landing at the moment. I think it's a little bit bugged out with the landing the ship. It doesn't seem to want to land. When you get out, it seems to start moving. But you can fly the ship from here as well. What I've found so far is if the pilot's in the pilot seat and he's flying, it does override it. I haven't worked out a way unless someone knows and let me know in the comments how you switch between the two. But yeah, you can fly the ship from here. What's the benefits of flying it from here? 
Well, like a lot of the ships, you know, like the Reclaimer and some of the other ships where you're really low below the ship. When you're here, you do tend to see the horizon and see much higher. So there might be an advantage. Also, I suppose it's a viewing deck as well. You could stand up here and uh, give some uh, key information to the pilot as well. And if he wants to get out of the seat, you can just take control. Let's go downstairs and have a look. The other thing you've got on these uh, buttons as well, you've got a closed door button as well, which is much better. And you get it on the lifts now. So here we are, we're on the bridge. I'll call it the main bridge. Pilot seat, self-explanatory, you've got two, and a co two co-pilot seats left and right. You can't quite see it now, but when it goes dark, there's all these little red lights on these peaks there. No complaints about restriction of view here. We jump in this seat. Yeah, no complaints with restriction of view at all. What sort of... Um, I don't know what you think. Let's see if we can go uh, pop around to the front. Let me zoom in a bit in one sec. Bit foggy out, isn't it? Can't quite see there, can you? Maybe if the fog goes in a bit and we take off, we'll have another look. What's sort of expecting the uh, seat to move forward quite a bit? So you've got to be careful when you're moving here because... Uh, okay, so let's have a look what we've got. Got displays at the top there. Got the new button system as well, showing you what's happening, gives you a better indication. Down here, obviously you can swap these panels out. So nothing really adhering your view too much. There is quite a lot in the field of view. I was actually expecting the chair to move forward. I don't know what you think. I'm pretty confident that if I press Y. Did that move forward? It's hard to tell, wasn't it? Didn't look like it did, did it? That's the back position. Well, that's weird. You can do that from here. Just looking up the ceiling. All right. That's the back position, and that's the forward position. So when you get in it, you're already in the forward position. I expected this to maybe get in it here, and then slide out to about there. If that's you see what I'm getting at, so you'll be further out in the glass. I'm not really sure what this bit is for. You can see, look, the runner. Co-pilot seats, exactly the same. Can't see any runners for them ones. Oh, there is, look. Should we uh, jump in one? It's hard to tell, isn't it? I'll try it out. You can, it'd be easy if someone was with you and you could just look to see what happens to the chairs. Could be rotating and moving at the same time. You've got this thing here. As well, avionics. Or coffee table, however you want to use it. It's pretty freaking cool, doesn't it? I don't know, I think that could have been like a safe depository box or something for like high value, <laughs> valuables, couldn't it? Does it appear you can see, can I see outside there? Is that the floor? I'm not sure. When I first found that, I didn't realise it was avionics. I thought, oh wow, secret door. Clearly it wasn't though, was it? I don't actually notice it says it. You can just see it look avionics there. All your servers as well. Eight servers. And then in this section here you have radar. Guessing it's in there, but not in there once again. My guess. And close that. Be a nice button here, so I don't know, maybe it's in the middle. Okay, start heading back this way. Oh, my door's open. This is my room. This is the uh, captain's uh, office. Well placed as well. I think it's uh, well placed because it's next to the bridge. So you've just got a case of coming around here. 
and you're here. Which makes total sense. I'm glad they didn't put it at the back of the ship because that would have been freaking daft. Pretty cool in here. I did have a good gander's round of some of the detail they've gone into in here. Look, you can even see, look, the label on the outside. How cool is that? What else have we got here? Look, Star Citizen. Nice. Look at the light shining on that picture. Look, that is so cool. I can see stuff behind us. Very good. Would have thought there would have been new technology there, but anyway. Those are books, and over this side, nice bottle of um, champagne there. Got the chess. Every captain must have a chess board. And your desk. Not entirely sure why these go down. But I suppose it makes sense, because if you called someone into your quarters, you might have information that maybe you don't want them to see. Is that, could it be why? I, don't, I can't think of any other reason why they would make it so these can go up, other than for the fact of uh, just, you know, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Captain C, once again, you can see there's definitely a slidey thing on this one. Can't slide it at the moment, though. So you're sort of sitting quite far away from your desk at the moment. You have to have freaking long arms. Here we go. Just chilling. God, my character looks pretty messed up, doesn't he? Now, what I did notice as well, you do get a teddy bear with... Um, I don't know what I did with my one. When you get the carrot, you'll get a teddy bear. You'll be sitting there. This is your bedroom. Nothing really too luxury in here, really. There's a box there or bag there. On this side, you've got your locker, put all your stuff in it. That does nothing. Guessing that's going to be a suit. Your personal suit goes in there. Can't open that as yet. Your own bathroom. Nice little shower. Nice towel. That's a bit weird, isn't it? You're sitting on the loo and you can see yourself sitting on the loo. I don't know if I fancy that. Captain's quarters, pretty cool. Do like it. Fire extinguisher, so hopefully we won't need to use that. Move up the corridor. Two directions you can go. We'll have a look in here first. Did it actually tell you? I didn't... Some of the time... Oh, there we go. It does say, look, mess hall. Or the dining room. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know what these are. What are these? What the buttons say? Maybe that's the uh, air conditioning or something. Really nice view out the windows. Microwave oven, sink. Got some soy sauce there. Know what these things are? Cup dispensers or something? I'm not sure. More food. Someone's left their dinner there as well. Oh wow, that actually is quite detailed. Oh, this is that Rice Krispies. It does look like it, doesn't it? What did he have? Uh, chocolate bar. I feel like I've got to look around here now. Energy bar. And then over the opposite side. Is it labelled outside? Yeah, crew quarters. Here we are. One of the weirdest... I'm not even going to call it a pool table because uh, it's a weird game, isn't it? All the balls are the same colour. I'm not really sure how you play this one. Maybe you just pot anyone. Nice window there as well. Nice view out. There's sleeping rooms. They've all got little doors as well where you store all your stuff. This would be for your crew, your mates. This is where they'll be saving in the beds as well. Lovely little seating area. 
you've got a total of, I think, is it five? So you've got one, two, three, four, five beds in total. How many lockers we got? Five lockers as well. Makes sense. It's on the wall there. New York? Doesn't look like that. New York to me. Now each bed has a screen at the end and it has one above your head. How cool is that? I mean, not even in real life, that'd be pretty cool. Thought about that line on your pillow. You probably want the screen here, actually, wouldn't you? Because your head would be sort of tilted this way. So that placement's probably not quite right, is it? Because you have to tilt your head into the pillow. Just being pedantic now, aren't I? Oh, look at that little thing there. That's pretty cool. And then over here, we have their bathroom. They get doors. The captain doesn't. It sort of makes sense, I suppose, because the captain uh, is going to be on his own, isn't he? Well, unless you bring one of your ladies back with you. More toilets over this side. Makes sense, because if you're in here playing pool or you're over there eating your dinner, you don't really want to walk in this way, do you? While everyone's in their bed. Walk past and then go in the loo and then walk out. So adding more toilets in here. Makes sense. And back up here. Next up, medical bay. This is pretty cool as well. There's actually a decontamination room with the medical bay. When you go in this door, if you look on the wall here, look. This is decontamination. I don't know if decontamination is going to happen as you just run past. Maybe it's that sort of technology. Or maybe the door actually closes. Oh, I'll try and close it. And then, before you can open that door, all mist comes out and it decontaminates you. And here we are. O2 tanks in there, I'm guessing, by the sign. Hopefully we can grab these fire extinguishers and use them as a fire. Would make sense, wouldn't it? Couple of beds, you've got beds here. Either side. Oxygen plugs. Normal plug. These are misted windows as well. The, there's another side to this. You can go on the other side. Makes sense. Don't want people peering in. And uh, this is the main room. Now you can set this as your... You can set the beds here as your spawn, spawn beds. You can do it from here actually just by just doing that. Or you can uh, do it this way as well if you really want to. Actually, I didn't want to sit down. I wanted to lie down, actually. Let's lie down and see what it looks like. Nope. There we go. Yep, I'm literally inside. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm right. Going to be pretty cool when you uh, go inside the old scanning machine. A good suggestion is, is probably don't wear your armour. Probably fry you if you went in there with your freaking armour on. And then you can set your save point from here. If you do it again, it just cancels it. Guessing all this will be to do with your injuries that come up on the screen, like your legs fractured, your arms broken in nine places, your ribs are messed up. And then you've got left and right as well, around the other side. Loads more oxygen tanks. Look at the detail on these, look. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Screens as well. Guessing these are going to tell you the same sort of things, yeah, about your, uh, tell you about the uh, patient that's in there. 
servers in there, waste disposal, exactly the same thing over this side, pretty much. I oh, know it's not, it's a cupboard, there's no screen on this side. Jesus. Life supply of uh, freaking oxygen tanks. Some files. Cool, that's medical. Pretty cool. Quite uh, detailed, I would say. Hoping this decontamination thing actually decontaminates. We've got another lift here. Stairs here. Is it stairs? I believe so. And walk down here, and there's their misty window. Back of the scanner there. And then we go down the lift here. This is exactly the same way we came. Let's call the lift. So we've done habitation, done we've done a cartography. Sub deck it is. Oh, we did the armory, didn't we? Did we go all the way back? Let's go and double check. Oh, the only place where we didn't really have a good gander's around. Oh, this is the other thing I wanted to show you as well. So when you come in here, what you can do, just to speed things up, you can go this way. I would say this is probably the quickest way to probably get to the cockpit. Because you don't have to go for the lift animation. It's quite clever how he climbs to the side as well at the top. Open up the door. Gets a bit confusing, but then you run back the same way you came. Just look like we've taken the damage as well. And there we are. Wow, what a beautiful day out as well. Probably a good time to have a look on the exterior while we're here. You can jump down here as well. Save yourself a... Uh... Let's get in the cockpit seat. There we go, we can have a look now. Let's see the seat there. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit and have a good old look, shall we? It's probably a bit too far, so have a look. There we go, that looked good. So I like the exterior, I think it looks pretty cool. You, you can see them pods down the bottom there. The cargo pods on the bottom. And you will be able to drop them later on. Can't at the moment, but later on you will. You can see the turret on the side. The engines look pretty cool. Have a look from the top. Hangar bay door you can see in the centre there. You can actually see the pods there. Can you see the pods on the front there? See if you look on the front there where it says um, caution. See them six things there like little patches. You can see them there. So they clearly fly out the top there. Freaking looks awesome, doesn't it? All right, let's take off. Starboard proximity alert. Deck proximity alert. Now, I know a lot of people have commented on this, and I suppose the only downside I would say that you do have with this, if you're flying on your own, now you can do in cargo with this, absolutely. I would say that the only downside probably would be is you are... You don't have any forward guns, so you haven't actually got any guns that you can actually fire yourself. So let's just slow down a little bit and we'd go through some of these animations so we can see these. Let's zoom in a little bit as well. So we we'll do the landing gear, shall we? And if you look carefully... I don't know if you saw that. If you look very carefully at the back of it, there's like a distending sort of arm that comes out as well. I'll do it again. I guess it had to do that because clearly, obviously, you wouldn't better land otherwise, would you? Because the spikes would be pointing in the ground. I'll do it again. Pretty cool. 
adds a I'm sure it would add an l- extra layer of armor to the ship as well because if them wings snap off I suppose it's rather hitting that wing than hitting the actual side of the ship so if you look at it like that that sort of wing there is actually protecting the most important parts of the ship you can see on the side there as well a little that round circle that's where you can come and EVA out and dock on So overall, what do I think of the Carrot? I'm actually really, really pleased with it. The main reason why, for me, is because there's so much you can actually do with this, and this is not RP. These are, you know, physical things you're going to be able to do in the game. Obviously, you've got your turrets, which is your normal thing. You've got your drones. You've got the repair. You've got the medical. You've got the small ship for going down on planets and linking to the scanner array. You've got the rover. There's just so much you can do with this. Mapping jump ports. It's just, you know, there's... If you're going to go out into deep space with, like, say, three or four of your mates, I feel in this ship... Oh, wow, look at that horizon there. Look at that. I feel like if you go out into space with four or five of your mates in this ship for, you know... I'm going to say weeks, really. I don't know if that's in-game or in in actual physical time. I think that it's going to be really engaging and really fun. Because not only are you going to be repairing the exterior of the ship... You have to repair internal parts. You're going to have to repair the modules as well, the subcomponents. I think you're going to have lots to do on this ship. And that's one of the main reasons I really, really like the ship. And it just looks freaking cool as well. And the last thing as well, I'm actually pleased that it's actually large components, that it didn't go capital and it wasn't massive. Because this is manageable for me. The 890 jump's too big for me. I feel like you're running for too long to get to A to B. This is really, really compact. You don't have to run far. A few decks. You don't have to run far between getting to locations. Everything is located in a good position, right? So the the captain quarters is close by. The crew quarters is nearby as well. You know, moving back, you've got the drone room. Everything is very, very close. And you don't have to run down crazy corridors. It's one of the reasons I really like it. I'm not disappointed with it at all. The only thing that would have been nice is to have maybe one forward gun that I could fire, you know. That would have been handy. That would be my only gripe. Just means you just have to have friends with you. Or just take a couple of AI to man them turrets for you to ensure that you've got some sort of defence. What I'm going to be doing anyway over the coming weeks, I'm going to try and do some cargo runs in it and see how I get on. Just for a bit of fun, eh? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye now.